Hey everyone, and welcome back to Factuality. Today we'll be talking about the top 5 private islands in the Caribbean that you can rent. A private island is a symbol of luxury and travel, and the COVID-19 social distancing pandemic is likely to change the place to experience for a long time to come. Fortunately, you don't need a private island to enjoy the beauty and integrity of many of these islands. You can rent it for a week or a month. There are many options for the one designated site you are dreaming of at the moment. Private aviation is helping to make this trip as far away as possible, as well as all of the islands help create a plan for it. Number 5. Little Whale Key Located in the Berry Island chain of the Bahamas, a small killer whale key can accommodate 12 guests in three secluded villas set among the green trees with a view over the turquoise sea, a must-have for those who like to spend a few days in the Bahamas. Guests can enjoy all the foods that they love, such as sushi, which is already on the grill, and the island's many rum punches is a company. Appreciate your fine dining, jet skiing, deep sea fishing or sailing, or even visit one of the nearby islands to explore some of the great hidden gems. The Queen of the Beach, where the reef is filled with a large number of exotic fish, all of the Bahamas Islands. The hotel guests can relax by inspecting a massage, facial, manicure or pedicure issued by the hotel staff or taking a nap on the suntan and next to a private swimming pool. Little Whale Key can cater to light twin aircraft, but private jets will need to land nearby Chubb Key. From there, guests can transfer into a small plane to get to Little Whale Key or travel by one of the island's private boats. Number 4 over yonder key. Who better to design a lonely island to a high standard than a super yacht's owner? And as you would expect, a man is aware of the most feared of the boats, including the 54.6 back Mary, Ed Bozage's vision to be a disappointment. This is past a fishing outpost of 30 hectares of land, hosted 30 guests, then modern villas, all located on a private beach. The most luxurious of these, the Meridian House, features the wonder of Rococo interior design, including a sunroom with a Steinway Grand Piano. It is surrounded on three sides by an outdoor swimming pool, and this is a 12-seat cinema, a massage, a beauty salon, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. Located in Exuma, over yonder key, the hotel provides its guests with white sand beaches and the interior forests, overgrown with trees, and it is in the local flora. Turquoise water, the island's main feed, and the dive master sailing and water sports facilities, an instructor and fishing, the instructions will have to be hand-picked for every water adventure that will appeal to you. If you're still bored, there's the super yacht, the 35-foot sailboat, the Cruel, which will always rest on the island for your viewing pleasure. Fun fact, did you know that the Caribbean has a boiling lake? The boiling lake is a flooded fumarole located in Montois Pitons National Park, a World Heritage Site on the island of Dominica. The lake located 6.5 miles east of Dominica's capital, Rozu, is filled with bubbling greyish-blue water, usually enveloped in a cloud of vapour. The Boiling Lake is approximately 200 to 250 feet across and is the second largest hot lake globally after Frying Pan Lake, located in Waimangu Valley near Rotorua, New Zealand. The first recorded sighting of the lake was in 1870 by Edmund Watt and Henry Alfred Alfred Nichols, two Englishmen working in Dominica. In 1875, Henry Preston, a government botanist, and Nichols were commissioned to investigate this natural phenomenon. They measured the water temperature and found it to range from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit, 82 to 90 degrees Celsius, along the edges, but could not measure the temperature at the centre where the lake is actively boiling. They recorded the depth to be greater than 195 feet. Periodically, there have been fluctuations in the level and activity of the lake. In the 1870s, it was deep after a phreatic eruption nearby in 1880. The lake disappeared and formed a fountain of hot water and steam. Another phreatic eruption lowered the lake level by 33 feet 10 meters, from December 2004 to April 2005. Later, the lake level rose again, refilling the lake in just one day. The rapid draining and refilling of the lake imply that it is suspended well above the local water table. A continuous flux of steam or gas generated by an underlying magmatic intrusion drives water into the lake. A disturbance to the gas supply can cause the lake to drain through the porous connection that typically allows steam to rise and heat the lake. If you like the video so far and would like to see similar content in the future, then please hit the like and subscribe button. It's that simple. Help us grow the channel and be part of the community and we'll make sure to always give you new quality content worth talking about. No fluff, just facts. Now, back to the list. Number 3. Musha Key In a quiet corner of Exuma, in the south of the Bahamas, the Musha Key is one of the most exclusive private islands owned by celebrities. 
In addition to the soft white sand, aquamarine waters and amazing marine life, it is owned by the well-known magician David Copperfield, and he has made several personal queues to his private island paradise, with a capacity of up to 24 guests. You are invited to discover and experience this island as the scene of a treasure hunt that was created by some area of his life out of yourself. This includes an exciting three-hour tour around the island with pirate history, which will refer to as secret beaches, hidden coves, rugged cliff edges and even a frozen lake. With the coming of darkness, guests can also relax in front of the TV set. Dave's drive-in movie theatre is a heartfelt person in the sea, under a starry sky. Additional in-room amenities at the private island, a tennis court, a fully equipped fitness centre, stunning luxurious rooms and a lot of high-end dining with fantastic views of the sea and the most refined cuisine. This is a spectacular coral reef for those who like snorkeling and diving, and the island has plenty of water toys and a catamaran to go swimming in the ocean. In addition, private events, fireworks and live music can be arranged for guests' use. We are almost at the end of the list with the best yet to come, so keep on watching. Number 2. Petit Saint Vincent Sir Richard Branson, protection of the British Virginia Islands, Cook Island, The Crown, and a solo artist and a strange naked in the kite surface. This is barefoot luxury in a setting that is, one might say, as exclusive as it is impossible to accommodate up to 30 guests in luxurious Balinese style. From the restaurants to the beach, to eating at the floating sushi, swimming pool, bar, and there are plenty of options to enjoy, while at the same time, it is surrounded by the island's natural beauty. One of the significant drawbacks of the Necker is perhaps one of the most flourishing flora and fauna. Branson is a celebrity who passionately supports the protection of the oceans and wildlife, this is why it has become a rehabilitation centre for endangered species. While feeding, the trained professionals can introduce you to a local Madagascar, the lemurs, the red ibises, giant sea turtles and endemic iguanas. You'll also see some of the flamingos that, at the time, were the success of the restoration programme, with a total population of about 250 of these birds. Number 1. Calavini Island Calavini Island is a luxury private island that is located a five minute walk from the coast of Greenland. Calavini and the surrounding islands offer plenty of entertainment for visitors and highly professional staff working day and night to provide for all of your needs. Spread over 80 acres of land with six sandy beaches and stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean seas, Calavini guests in Bali, a French colonial style home and three luxury custom designed homes. The island can accommodate up to 50 people with a fleet of ships, boats, private chefs and plenty of activities for both adventure and relaxation. The beach house can accommodate 20 people and it is the most luxurious condo on the island. Guests can enjoy a meal in the Grand Dome which is prepared especially for you. Most of the large free form swimming pool with swim up bar at the edge of the pool and soak up the sun on a circular patio. Each air conditioned suite features a king size bed and an ensuite bathroom. This is the imminence of the house, which has nine luxurious guest rooms, an expansive balcony, multiple outdoor terraces, and an outdoor pool with a water supply. It's not the only one, only a few steps away from the beach and every room has a view of the sea. There is also a tiny beach with a large living room and dining area, and a private room for you to enjoy. Each room has a king size bed, a private bathroom, and a TV. The beach bungalows are three of us, and it can be said that, in a cabin, a stone's throw away from the beach, each of them covering a large terrace with a hot tub. Beautiful sophisticated dinner on the deck or a short quad bike ride to the beach, the place to meet other guests and arrange a real treat. Each one comes with a kitchen, a living room and two bedrooms with a double bed with an ensuite bathroom. That's all we had for today and we hope you enjoyed it. Which one of these islands would be a good choice for you? Let us know in the comments below and please remember to subscribe to have you become part of our channel. Until next time.